Today we are going to talk about Aeons and some of the biggest misunderstandings about them and I would love to hear your opinion about it in the comments section below. Now before we start don't forget to subscribe, like and share to support the channel and without any further ado let's just get started. So Aeons are the gods of their own path. They are extremely strong but how strong are they exactly? Are they killable? And can they do whatever they want? First of all, let's talk about whether Aeons are killable or not. Can Aeons die? Well, both Herta and Kafka confirmed that Aeons are indeed killable. And we already know about three Aeons who have died in Honkai Star Rail story. Two of the, of the ways to kill an Aeon that we know about are killing them by force, someone kills them, which is what happened to Tytherans, the Aeon of Propagation, when some other Aeons stood against it and killed it. And the other one is when two path concepts become so similar that they kind of merge and one of the Aeons of these two paths devours the other, which is what happened to Anna the Aeon of Order when she Pei the Aeon of Harmony devoured her. Unfortunately though we still don't know how the third Aeon, Akivili Aeon of Trailblaze died. Also until now we have never heard of a normal person, someone who isn't an Aeon, who killed an Aeon. But we know that Acheron's goal in, in her life is to kill Ix, the Aeon of Nihility. So we will see whether she would be able to do it or not. Now, how strong are Aeons and can they do whatever they want? Aeons are gods, but what people forget about them is that they are limited to their path or concept. So Aeons, whose concept supports fighting and destroying, can only fight and destroy. While Aeons, whose concept doesn't support fighting and destroying, can't fight and destroy. So, not all Aeons are capable of destroying galaxies and not all Aeons are down for a fight either. Which means that some Aeons are more dangerous than others. So let's start with the first Aeon we, we see in Honkai Star Rail, Nanook the Aeon of Destruction. He sees the creation of the universe as a mistake and seeks to destroy everything. After becoming an Aeon he destroyed his own world and his followers are considered a threat to everyone and everything in the galaxy. That is due to the fact that he is the Aeon of Destruction, so all he is going to do and all that his followers are going to do is destroying stuff. Yet, they aren't as big of a threat as our next Aeon, Tytherins, the Aeon of Propagation. It was replicating itself on a scale that was so dangerous it made other Aeons stand against it and kill it. It was born from the idea that Tytherinth was basically uh, uh, so lonely because all of its race was killed and died and therefore it wanted basically more people of its own uh, race and that was basically the point where it uh, ascended into the Aeon of Propagation and started to replicate itself and multiply into multiple different Tytherins and these Tytherins started to eat everything in the world and everything in the universe and they became so dangerous that other Aeons literally stood against them in a war between Aeons and tried to stop them and ended basically up killing Tytherins. However, it is also the creator of the swarm disaster which is still to this day destroying in the universe. It's not as dangerous as the uh, 
as the tyrants of uh, the aeon of propagation was but it's still something that is still destroying in the universe until now and they are also following the same concept where they basically multiply and multiply and multiply into multiple different swarm and cause a swarm disaster now the next aeon is lan the rainbow arbiter who is the aeon with a singular goal to wipe out the abundance and everything it has created because of Yaoshi, the aeon of abundance and the problems of the power of immortality that was caused to the uh, Senjo La Fu after the implantation of the uh, uh, Ambrosial Arbor. If you did read the story of the Senjo La Fu, uh, the Yaoshi, the aeon of abundance, caused so many problems on it because of the ambrosial arbor because it made basically the Sienjo Lafu uh, people basically immortal and they lived for so long however the human body isn't uh, supposed to live for so long uh, and therefore once they reached a certain stage their body corrupted and they turned into basically minions of abundance and these minions were basically mindless monsters who tried to destroy everything around them and therefore uh, the land the aeon of uh, the the aeon of uh, hunt basically tried uh, is created just for the sole reason to destroy everything that has to do with the abundance and that's why the Sienjo Lo Fu and all of the other generals are actually following Lan the, uh, the Aeon of the Hunt. Now the next Aeon is the Aeon of Remembrance fully. She appears basically only when there is something important or an important event. She likes to witness and record these events and she also likes to collect memories and store them. That is why Black Swan was so interested in witnessing and recording Acheron's past. This, this Aeon never fights and it is safe to assume that an Aeon who is born to only witness and record memories isn't going to have that much of a fighting power because that's not what their path concept is. Then we have the Aeon of Harmony and the Aeon of, of Order who wants to create peace in the world but in two different ways. Harmony wants balance between happiness and suffering while Order wants the evil to perish. So Harmony isn't going to do as much fighting as the Order but it's still going to do fighting and we already know that it actually devoured Anna, the, the, um, the Aeon of Order. We don't know why but it's still something that happened. The Aeon of Nihility is a special case. IX is basically an Aeon who have no intention and no willingness of doing anything yet it is causing massive destruction by just existing because of the nature of its existence which is a black hole that swallows everything so in this case the aeon isn't supposed to be fighting and it isn't supposed to be destroying anything however its nature is the cause of all of the destruction that it is causing so if it would have been just for the Aeon itself, its concept prevents it from doing anything, literally anything. However, due to the nature of being a black hole, just existing without doing anything is causing problems. So to sum it up, Aeons are killable. They are extremely strong in their own path or concept, but they are limited to their path and cannot do anything against what their path concept is. Let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe, like and share to support the channel and until next time, see you as always in the next video.